Hey, what's going on today, guys? Uh, today, I have a couple things going on. I'm going to try to take you through the full, full day of everything I have to do with the reptiles today. Um, first, I'm prepping some tegu food. I have the chicken feet, some shrimp. And I'm going to mix these two, the red passion meat pie and chicken pot pie. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mince the um, shrimp into very small pieces and mix it inside of the mixture. And then just put the chicken feet on the side. I'm going to actually cut the chicken feet up into smaller pieces. But they'll be just sitting on the side of the um, grill pie and, sorry, chicken pot pie and meat pie. So... Yeah, that's what I got planned for the tegus, and of course I'm going to top it with some mineral. I'm going to put that inside, inside of the mixture as well. But I already mixed the greens for today. I'm doing um, banana squash, squash, bell pepper, and um, romaine hearts. I'm going to put some calcium in there right now, and then we're going to go outside, um, feed the tortoises, and then... Upstairs and in the garage for the Egyptians and the bitter dragon. So let me get this in here. I got a good amount in there now. I'm just gonna shake it up. And I'm still in pajama pants. Rocking my Blue Ghost Reptile shirt. Kelly Paul, if you guys know him. It rained yesterday, so I'm not going to put any water out here today. It rained pretty good. Chilling. Look for something to eat. Alright, I'm going to let them enjoy their meal. Go inside and feed the animals inside. Like I said, it rained yesterday, so I'm going to spray down out here today. Let's see what those flowers looking like. My hibiscus. I think that one's dead for sure. That one's coming back. I broke my um I broke my glass yesterday. Two panels of it, so I gotta get some new glass. I had cages stacked up right here. And I had it stacked all the way to the top and I opened the garage and it pushed it off to the side and it fell down. So I broke two two cages and broke the glass to this. Uh, but they've been they've been chilling pretty much, so I'm gonna just leave them in there for a little while and hopefully hopefully everything goes well. And if you're new to the channel, I have a um, male and female Egyptian here, male six in here. Um, the male is uh, significantly smaller than the uh, female. He's inside of there right now, and that's the female right there. Um, I tried to put him in her cage um, a couple, like a, probably like a month ago, 
and she was chasing them all over, biting them. But in this cage, I haven't seen any uh, any of that much aggression. I've seen a little bit of hissing at first, but last night when I came out here, um, they were both just basking and no problems. So I'm gonna leave them in there for a little while and hopefully they can get something done. But right now I'm gonna feed them some greens or put some greens in here. They're probably not gonna eat it right now. Actually, she might, fat girl. I need a bigger dish down here. So yeah, I'm pretty uh, happy with the results so far, being that she's not abusing him. Um, gotta get these panels replaced. I don't know when I'm gonna be able to do that, but for right now it's working. They can't get out still, so it's okay. They can't cut themselves either. Uh, but as far as their behavior towards each other, I'm pretty satisfied. Um, so I just let them relax and hang out. And hopefully they, uh, like I said, hopefully they can get something done. We can get some baby Egyptians in. All right, now time to feed the guys upstairs. Or gals, I should say. I'm not going to give them any seeds today. Little veggies. All right, I think the chicken feet are thawed out now. Yeah, the shrimp are nice and thawed out as well. So now I just gotta put some water in the microwave to warm it up for the um, for the powders. So I'll go ahead and do that, and I'm gonna put it on for four minutes. Thank you. 
And while that's microwaving, I'm going to go ahead and start chopping this shrimp up real fine, mincing it, so I can put it inside of the powder mixture. So it's shrimp inside of the, um, with the uh, meat pie and chicken pot pie. And again, I don't do the exact measurements that's recommended. I just do it by eye and by feel. So, pretty much mix it to a feel that's ac accurate. Now I'm just going to add the shrimp. Now it's time to mix it all up. So now I just gotta let this cool off and settle and turn into gel. Um, while I was doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and start chopping up these chicken feet. Um, you guys already seen that a couple of times, so I'm just gonna do that off camera. And come back on when this is done and I'm ready to serve. Approximately 10 hours later. All right, I got the chicken feet all cut up now. I cut it into smaller pieces than I did last time. Last time I was having a little bit of trouble swallowing the pieces, so I went ahead and cut it into smaller uh, pieces. Um, they don't chew, they just swallow. So, smaller pieces are better. Um, this still hasn't completely set yet. So I'm gonna let that sit for a couple more minutes and then we can go ahead and feed it off to them. I'm also gonna go um, put these leftover greens and with the dubia roaches so they can get some food as well but yeah that's it off cut up it should be a lot easier for them to eat at this size all right guys we made it upstairs the gel is pretty much done now i think i mixed it a little incorrectly so it's still a little soft so this is probably the best it's going to get so i'm going to go ahead and cut it up i'm going to be feeding this um, over the course of the week so i'm not going to feed it all today probably just like a quarter of it We smell it. We're starting to get real active.